Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be testing some Refi Beauty products. I'm going to be trying the cream bronzer, the cream blush and the brow uh, sculpt thing. Before we get into this video, if you haven't done so already then please sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos from me and let's just get started. All I've done so far is put on foundation and concealer, that is it. I just set my under eyes, that's all because otherwise it's just going to crease. Um, but everything else isn't. I have, it does look like it is because I've used my Revolution Conceal and Define, Conceal and Define, whatever it's called, that foundation, and then also my Revlon Color Stay. So it isn't like the dewiest of a base. I, I it does kind of like a contoured slightly, but that's just because I put a, like, I basically will just use whatever's left concealer wise on my, on my sponge, I will just go underneath here, but there is nothing contour wise on me. So, I do have my little mini marshmallow in case I want to use that for some extra blending. But I have, I'm going to show you all my products I've got. I'm going to open the brush. I have opened everything and looked at it, but I've not swatched a single thing. This is the brush. This end is for the contour and this end is for the blush as far as I can tell. Um, I just think this is stunning. I kept seeing people using it and I was like, I need to get it. I, I will say it definitely isn't like as heavy as I thought it was going to be. I don't know why. It just looks like it's going to be really heavy. But it's really light. And this is super soft. This is actually less dense than I expected. But I guess that's good. I normally use my cream contour with either this like buffing brush from Beauty Bay. This is the 103. Or I use my mini marshmallow. Um, and I'll use the end and I'll basically just like squeeze it a little bit and just do 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 do. And then I use, as you can see, the, the other side of the mini marshmallow for my blush. So I've never actually used like a stippling brush for cream bronzer. And I've never used a, I've used, I tried using the brush once for my cream blush. That was in my test new makeup video back in like October. And it just didn't work out. But that's because the, the cream blush I was using was very moussey. I didn't get the eyebrow pencil because I really love my Revolution eyebrow pencil and it's only £6 and it's just really handy because it's just like once I finish it, it's just £6. Bronzer. I got it in sand. I really... Okay, when I say I really struggled to decide on the shade, it was more so... My gut was telling me to get sand. But I was actually, to be fair, on my Christmas list, I put this, but I put it in the shade tan, which is the middle shade, because I saw some girl using it in that shade and... I was really, really tempted, but then every YouTube video I watched or TikTok I watched, everyone that was like even like that was more tanned than me was using the lightest shade. But when I watched Soph Does Life use it, she was saying how it's really, really subtle. But my thought process is I wonder if they're very subtle because you use a stippling brush. I bet if I put my sponge in and then dabbed it on, it would be a lot more pigmented. I think any bronzer you use, like a stippling brush with, it's going to come off lighter. So the packaging is absolutely stunning. And this is the lighter shade. There's three shades. And she did say that, um, I saw her saying that it's like very buildable. So there's only three shades. And she said she tested these shades on like such a right range of skin tones. And... It worked for everyone because it just depends on how much you use and how much you build it up. Apologies on my hands. They're like, my my tan gets scrubbed off tomorrow. So there's like no tan on my hands. So this is the colour. It is very, very warm, which is kind of also why I went for the light shade. Because I was worried that I wanted to get the middle shade because it looked a little bit less warm. But then I was concerned that because it's the middle shade, it's going to be even more like red undertoned. But these are very like bronzy... Definitely, like, they're definitely a cream bronzer. Like, it's not like the Huda Beauty Tan Tour where it's, like, an in the middle. This is, like, definitely a bronzer shade. So we're just going to, like, um, ah, I don't like using new products. I do, but, like, I don't want to, like, touch them. We're just going to swirl it around. Okay, I don't know how much to put on the brush. I've got, like, that much. You haven't really see it, but I'm just going to, like, go with that and see what happens. Do you know what I do like? You can't even feel that you're putting it on your skin. You know sometimes, especially if you're using like a buffing brush to put on cream bronzer, um, you can really feel the product. This feels like I'm putting like a powder on my skin, but I honestly can't feel that it's cream. I don't know what the... Oh, whoa. That texture is like the lightest texture I've ever felt. 
it's almost like an oil it's not an oil but it it has that like um thinness to it like an oil watery thinness if that makes any sense which i probably think that's probably why it's really good to use this brush with i'm just going to do the one side for the moment because sometimes you don't feel like a lot's going on but then you can actually see a difference this is stunning i can tell you summer this is going to be gorgeous so i don't know if you can like see the bronziness of this it. beautiful I really like this. This is like a really, this is actually quite subtle for me. I normally bronze up like way more than this. I get concerned with using brushes with cream bronzers that it's going to take off my foundation. Um, but if it, even if it has, it's it, like, because I can see some of my spots underneath where the bronzer is Look for this side because I need the window light. It's very overcast today, but like not in a good way. It's not like overcast and bright. It's quite overcast and gloomy. So that's why it's quite like dark, but I feel like you can still see me fine. So we're going to stick with this. I really like how it doesn't drag. Like it really does feel like you're putting a powder on. And that's why I'm like, I actually love that. I'm really happy I got this brush because I think if you were to use a more but I just I think it's really nice when you can put a product on and it's applying but it doesn't drag on the skin like it's a cream but it doesn't like it's it like goes on like air it's beautiful I love it it also has no cakiness to it like it doesn't look cakey in the slightest this might be the most beautiful cream bronzer I've ever used. I actually think it might be. I don't think I've ever used one like this. If you don't like subtle, either get the darker shade or you're really gonna have to build it up. Like I said, with a sponge, it probably would be darker. Like it would be like a, a darker bronzer, but I don't even wanna use a sponge with it because I think it looks stunning like this, especially with my skin tone, this looks this is like a really good shade oh hello this is a really really good shade for me i mean i could actually just do it on the back of my hand couldn't i if i put my sponge in it and then i mean i think it is maybe it is just quite subtle anyway i don't know okay i'm gonna take this little concealer brush and just i know i shouldn't really be contouring with bronzer but we're gonna go for it anyway i love this so much I love it, but I'm definitely going to savour it for like when it's like springtime. And then I have the blush in Malaya. Malaya. This is the middle shade. The, the lightest shade was called Rose. And to me, it was just, some people might love that. It's a bit too baby pink for me. This I struggled to open. I had to go onto TikTok to find out how to do it. You have to like press it in. But I still can't do it. I don't know if I'm just being really dumb, but I struggle to open these products apart from the brow product. I just don't know if I'm just being stupid, but probably this is the color i think my perfect shade would be slightly lighter than this but i'm assuming it might not go on as dark so i'm kind of this is the one i'm kind of nervous for i i kind of had an idea that this brush was going to be really lovely for this i'm nervous for using blush with something like this normally i would think to use bronzer this is a bit small for bronzer but a bigger version of this for bronzer and then a smaller version of this for blush but it's the other way around, so I'm really like, ah! But we're just gonna like go lightly and see how it goes. Dab, 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 how does it feel? Okay, this feels um, thicker than the bronzer. This has more like a thick cream feeling, but still not thick. But it just, when you put your finger on it, it feels a bit more, like it's got not oomph to it, you know? The only thing with the black, you can't see what you're putting on the brush. So I'm actually just gonna give it a go and we're gonna build up, because I don't know how much I put on the brush now, because I can't see it. You can kind of see it actually, but I don't know. Do I dab it? Do I brush it? I don't know what to do. Um, the brush is very dense. I feel like if I brush too much, like spuff it in, it's going to take my makeup off underneath. It might not. I just, that's my concern. I love the colour. Colour, beautiful. I don't know i'm just being completely honest if i like the brush for the blush um i think i'd rather a small one of this for the blush to be honest with you i like how it puts it on a bit more just lighter i don't know i just it this feels very dense of a brush for a blush do i dab do i 
buff? Do I like, what do I do? I guess it's kind of personal preference, right? Whatever you like doing. Try and make sure it looks even. I really like the colour. They look so good together. The blusher and the bronzer look so nice. Like the colours look so, they like complement so well. And they like blend into each other so it's not like lines. I love that. That is beautiful. Okay, we've done my face and then we've set and sprayed it. I also just want to point out, my under eyes look way brighter on camera than they do in person. <laughs> so, we've now got the, where's it gone? Oh, here. The brow sculpt. I did not, like I said, I did not get the pencil because I might get it at some point, but I bought four products at once. I just didn't want to. So, oh, guys, my laptop's been on the entire time. Okay, I have just realised my laptop has been facing at me the whole time really bright, white. So I'm really, really, really sorry about the lighting if it was really bad or if this is worse. I don't know. So we're on the brow sculpt. And so the way you use this is you have the actual product, which I'm going to zoom in and do that. And then you've got the little sculpty brush bit. Um, and then I'm going to, I'll do both eyes and I'll use my eyebrow pencil. I probably should have got the eyebrow pencil, but oh well. Um, I've heard you've got to work quite quick with this. Okay, it's like white. I don't know how much I'm meant to put on. I've put a bit on, I don't know how much I'm supposed to put on. And we're just gonna brush them. I just realized I'm literally not showing you anything. I think the little comb here doesn't really work too well for me because I have really like fine eyebrow hairs. It's quite hard, like I'm sure when you see people use this, like it looks really simple. But if you don't have like thick hairs, I think it's quite hard to actually, with any product though, with sort of like this sort of style product, it can be quite hard to get the hairs covered properly because your hairs are like finer. But once you get your technique down, it's fine. This side's definitely worked better. I mean, I haven't really, I didn't put a ton on um, the way a lot of people do. You also are not going to be able to see it that well on my brows because my brows are quite sparse and they're not that thick. I might not have put enough on to prop, like to make it set really well, but it's okay. Once you use it more and more, you un you get your technique down, you know what you need to do. Um, I just think it takes some practice. And fill in my eyebrows. It's so hard to do your eyebrows when it's dark in your room. It looks nice and light for you, but I promise for myself, it's like, it's hard to see all the individual things. Do you know what? I don't love it. I don't hate it. I think I just need to find what works for me with it. Yeah, my favourite thing is definitely, definitely the bronzer though. That bronzer is so nice. I'm aware, still need to do my mascara and my lips, but I think I'm just going to end the video here because that's not part of it. <laughs> this is literally everything. So... Yeah, I would definitely, I recommend, if you want to get like one, two things, I just recommend like this little duo, trio. I do like this. If you're someone who loves a soap brow though, you'll probably really like this. Or if you've got really thick eyebrows. Um, maybe eyebrows that don't often sit, stay well with like regular um, brow gel. My eyebrows do, so I don't really struggle with that. But definitely I'm going to be using it. Um... But I can imagine this is amazing if you've got really thick eyebrows. So if you have thick eyebrows, maybe give this a go. Um, personally, just for me, with what I need, I think these are my favourites. That is this video. If you did enjoy, then please sure to subscribe, like, and comment. And leave me any ideas you have down below. Um, I've got a couple of eyeshadow palettes coming, so... I'll be doing some testing videos. I still have quite a few eyeshadow products I need to test, actually. I've got the new Beauty Bay one. Uh, and I've got two Anastasia ones I decided to buy off just on a whim. Um, so I will see you in my next video. My schedule is a bit messy at the minute. I don't really know what I'm doing when I'm doing what. Um, there will also be a makeup declutter coming and also a makeup collection will be coming too. So I will see you in my next video. Bye.